Hey. Hey guys, it's Warren Barfield here. I'm working from home today, so I didn't see a need to fix my hair. And uh, and now I'm sending out this video to about 30,000 people. So, not smart, but hey, this is life. This is life. Um, this, this video you're getting today is an interview that I did with Mac Powell a couple of months ago when I was out on the road with those guys. Um, and this was my first interview I'd ever done. I, I, I was just thinking it'd be cool to uh, start doing some interviews with some people that I get to meet on the road, that I get to hang out with. I thought maybe you would enjoy the videos. Um, so I asked Mac if he would do it, and he was gracious. So we grabbed a camera, and uh, I, I sort of just sat in the back lounge and off the cuff came up with some questions. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this. Mac was gracious to do it. Um, got to talk a little bit about their band, Third Day, um, about marriage. He is uh, married with a whole gaggle of, of children um, and, uh, and also got to talk about their new record that's coming out in March uh, that we're excited about. So anyways, check out the, check out the video, check out the, the interview and feel free to share it with whoever. And uh, I've got some more interviews like this that are coming along and uh, they'll be getting better as I get more practice at it. And the next time I may even fix my hair. That's my phone. See ya. I'm and ready. Action. Hey guys, it's Warren here. I'm out on tour right now with the Third Day guys and getting to hang out uh, on the bus with Mac Powell a little bit right here. Thank you, Mac, for hanging out with us. <laughs> Anytime, Warren. So I asked Anytime. Mac last night if I could have some time with him today to do this for you guys, and he uh, generously obliged. So I came up with a couple questions, well, three questions to be exact. The first question is, you know, meet a lot of people on the road who want to do this, feel like they're called to do this. Yeah. And uh, I've been a fan of Third Day for a long time. I actually got a tour with Third Day over 10 years ago, one of my first tours. It's been that long? 10 years. Wow. It was awesome. Crazy. So uh, if we could turn this bus into a time machine, you could go back 22 years ago mm -hmm. and talk to that young guy, Mac, who's starting a band called Third Day with his buddy yeah. Mark. What advice would you have for that guy, knowing what you know today? That's a great question. Um, I mean, I have a lot of advice. I think um, one would be to try to learn to play the guitar a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of focus on your craft, um, spend time um, developing that songwriting side of things, um, playing. Um, I, the thing that I really, the advice that I give a lot of people is, you know, play whenever you get a chance. And I think so often, uh, kids, uh, kids these days, I'll sound yeah. like an old man when I say it, they want to automatically be in front of thousands of people. And they don't see that Third Day played in front of five people yeah. many, many times. Or that there were more people, guys on stage than there were out in the audience. Or that we would drive 10 hours to go play for a middle school group and get 50 bucks for it. You know, yeah. So there's a lot of that stuff of just do what you can. Because it's at the time, it's yeah, you got to make a living, but at the same time, you got to develop that craft. So, so much of those long hours in the van and trailer and, and those long hours to play and for, for no one kind of develops um, not only your craft in, in, in playing, but just in, in speaking on stage, which you can see I've developed so much in this interview right now. That's awesome. <laughs> that's sarcasm. That's great. That's great advice. I think that's. That's true. Yeah, don't be afraid to start small. Yeah. And I think also, really, you have to enjoy where you are. So I think so often people are want, they go, okay, the third day, how long have you been together? Okay, so we got this a lot. We've been together, let's say it was seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, a band would say, how long have you been together? We'd say eight years. And they go, well, we've been together for two years, so that means in six years we're going to be as big as you guys. Yeah. And it just doesn't work that way. Every journey. And so you have to enjoy where you are. Because if you don't enjoy where you are, you're never going to enjoy where you're going to get to. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Well, the Bible says it this way, be faithful over a few things and God will make you ruler over many. So I think it makes a ton of sense. That sounds so much more spiritual than how I put it. No, it's perfect. It's great. <laughs> That's the thing is that we don't want to be faithful over the little, but we expect God to give us a lot. And you guys were faithful over the little, and God's been faithful to give you. It's, mm -hmm. it's true. Absolutely. I am uh, passionate about marriage, family. It's a lot of what I speak about. A lot of people who will follow me on my uh, my email list and stuff are interested in what uh, you know in those elements, speaking into marriage and family. 
So, uh, how long have you been have you been married? Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Eighteen and a half. I want to stay on the time machine. One day you're asking Amy to be your wife. She says yes, and you guys are starting this journey. Mm -hmm. Go back and give some advice to that guy. Mm. Um, what have you learned through marriage? And, and talk a little bit about how many children you guys have together. Yeah. We have five kids. Um, we have three biological children and two that we adopted. And so their ages range from 15 all the way down to four. And I, as far as the marriage side, um, the advice, the big advice I give is just compromise. It's just compromise is such, a lot of times people look at compromise and think that is, that's something watered down, but it's not necessarily always watered down. Compromise is, is meeting each other where you're at. Yeah. And um, really, man, when it comes to being a, a husband and a father, the main thing I believe, besides just loving them with all your heart, is that compromise and sacrifice. I know that's kind of, well, yeah, duh, that just makes sense. But it's just, I can't tell you how often I've talked with people, especially guys, and they have no idea what they're getting into because they're so used to doing things on their own. Yeah. They're so used to going to the ball game when they want to and, you know, going to the movies when they want to and doing their own thing. And you've got to learn, hey, this, this is not, I'm not my own anymore. I don't belong to just me. I belong to my wife and I belong to my children. So... So we all share in this, so the compromise and that sacrifice. And I've found, as a, from the father side of things, that you know, there's so often I want to just be on the internet, surfing the web, or reading a magazine or something, and then the kids come in and they go, Papa, Papa, let's play, let's play, and I'm yeah. so tired, and I'm like, oh, I just want to finish reading my magazine or newspaper or whatever. When I find that when I do sacrifice, I go, okay, I'll get back to this later, I'll put it down, and I'll go play with my kids. I have so much more joy in that sacrifice and being I end up having a great time with my kids when I sacrifice does that make sense that's, that's awesome. at the time you're like I don't want to do this I, I want to do my own thing when you sacrifice not all the time but nine times yeah. out of ten you'll find that you're enjoying what you're doing with them a lot more yeah than, than what you're doing by yourself that's good advice man thank you for that mm -hmm. stay on the time machine this time we're gonna go forward you guys are working on a new record Actually, the new record's about to come out, right? Yeah, any, yeah. Any day. March the 3rd. March the 3rd. Brand new Third Day Records dropping. So uh, we're going to go forward. Uh -huh. Tell us about that record. When that record releases, and, and you know, I'm a fan, I go out and I buy that record. Um, tell me a little bit about it. What, what can I expect yeah. on this new record? What are you guys going to do touring over the next uh, yeah. next year? It's a, it's a worship record, and it's the first time we've made a record, a worship record, specific worship record, in uh, close to 12 years now. Yeah. And um, I've been wanting, for me personally, as the, as the guy who kind of writes most of the songs, I've been wanting to do a worship record for quite a while, but just never quite, it just, for some reason, never worked out. And so finally, um, this past summer, we started working on some songs, and it's, it felt like this is the right time. This is the right batch of songs that we have, and uh, got together with two, uh, first time ever that we've worked with younger guys as producers, first time ever, so it's, it's really kind of shaking things up for us in a yeah. good way uh, brought a really fresh new sound to third day that we haven't had before so I'm really really excited that's about awesome it. yeah a lot of the record the, the record is called uh, lead us back and so much of the record is from I've been reading a, a lot of the Exodus and studying Moses mm -hmm. so so much of the album is is kind of based on that correlation between Moses and Jesus and how Moses was this leader that God uh, took to lead God's people, the Hebrew children, back to where they belong, back to their home, back yeah. to Israel. And so in the same way, Jesus leads us back to the Father, back to where we belong. And so, so many of the songs are, are about that. That's great, man. It's mm -hmm. a great thing. Hey, thanks for taking this time to travel around with us a little bit. My pleasure. And then you guys can vote we'll, uh, we'll, on the blog. You can vote in the comment about which one of us has the, the best uh, beard happening um the most gray is by far i'm gonna vote for this guy but anyways <laughs> hey thank you so much thanks, thanks for having me out on the road with you i always thanks, love man. being out with you guys see ya